Greetings! In today's video, we have the fifth showcase of the products of Regal Dynamics. Without further ado, this is the first one. It is the Tortoise. As you can see, I have a complexity mod on because... Okay, this is a build where everything went wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull out its origins. This is the hippo. You might be able to see some similarities. So essentially, I was gonna record a video with a couple of my friends and I got a really, really interesting last minute idea to have a cargo ship in the video. I wanted an extra cargo vessel. So I decided against my better judgment, against everything that I ever tell myself, I decided to speed build. And I made the tortoise in an hour. I you know, ripped the front off of the hippo. I made it a little bit larger. I did a bunch of things. I did the landing gear. I, I made it, made it, made it. All of a sudden, I'm above 700 complexity. I'm turning on complexity mod. I'm not happy about it. I'm rushed and it's not so bad. It's not as bad as it could be. <laughs> The landing gear is very wonky. It I'm not extremely happy with how it folds up. It's got the giant bright light in the front. It's very square, but it is a cargo ship. But um yeah. <laughs> it's okay considering I built it in like an hour and a half, maybe less. It's good, but I I can do so much better. I will at some point build a tortoise mark IV and it will be better, I promise. <laughs> that is basically all I have to say for myself. Yeah, it's the unworthy successor to our dear friend the hippo. Yeah, just remind me in the future never to speed build things because it doesn't go well. Being stressed and under pressure and in a time crunch for creative endeavors is surprisingly enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea. The second build for today is the damselfly. It's a dragonfly. <laughs> it's the ornithopter from Dune, but my version of it. Because, yes, it's not very complicated. It's got forward mode, basically. It's got a hover mode, which is a little bit less of a flap, as you can see. But it's just enough to keep it, like, basically hovering. It can drop out of the sky like that. It's got its very, very cutesy, tiny, tiny landing gear that folds out when it lands. It's very fun. It's got a gun. <laughs> it can fold its wings back like the dune ornithopters can do. And yeah, that's about it. It has a, the red light in the back indicates that the like, altitude control is on. So if I turn it off, I'll drop out of the sky. But we will not do that because we don't want to drop out of the sky. Well, we have to do a dive, I guess, just like they do in the movie, because that's the main thing that they, the ornithopters do in the movie, right? Is that they fly around and then they, they do their dive like that. And, and then hopefully at some point we open the wings out and we don't fall into the ocean because we are competent pilots, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It's really tiny. I really, really like it. It's extremely bare bones, as in every block on this is necessary and there's nothing more there than exactly what is necessary. And I really like it for that. The next thing is the evolution of the damselfly. This is the mayfly. This is um. <laughs> this is the opposite. Everything on here is hyper complex, overcomplicated, not necessary at all. <laughs> um, hi. I could say hi to you. I have full control over the head motions. The walking animation regularly is like this. Uh, it can sit down. <laughs> it can squat. <laughs> Which I really like. Every once in a while it will make its wings vibrate. 
because that's what insects do sometimes and I really wanted to emulate that. When it turns on the ground, it you can see it's tilting its body into the turn completely. I really like th the way that it does that. It feels so organic. It makes me happy. Then it can transition into its flight mode, which is like this. And it has an animation for galloping, for takeoff. Its head has, well, a gun piston glitched into it and a big light piston glitched into it. Because again, I was going for excess. I was going for every single thing that I could possibly cram into this thing without it being completely dysfunctional. And so the other thing it can do is it can swim, <laughs> of course. And um, <laughs> because yes, because I made I made the bug swim, and it can gallop at the bottom of the ocean. This is the main reason why the gallop is here. I was trying to simulate how crustaceans, such as lobsters, will use their legs when they're trying to move fast at the bottom of the ocean, and I think I did a pretty good job at it. Yeah, <laughs> then uh, I'll just move back to the surface. Yeah, this is completely the opposite of the damselfly. It flies perfectly well without its wing motion. It's like hover pad powered and thruster powered. It does everything and then I've piled aesthetics on top of that, right? instead of being purely functional, the way that the damselfly is. The mayfly is really an exhibition piece of how complicated and over-engineered I can get a, a creature or a trailmaker's build to be and look like and like simulate something that's in real life. Yeah, it's just so peaceful. It just sits there. It's cool and collected and it's just, it's just chilling out. And then it'll, it'll vibrate its wings every once in a while. <laughs> the next creation that I will showcase today is an exploration vehicle. This is the sailfish. It's just a regular spaceship, as I've made so many of. It's got these pods at the front that rotate while well, they're thruster pods. And they're completely reactive to what direction you're moving in, to what, what speed you're going at they will do their best to stabilize you. There's not much of interest to say about this ship. It just, you know, looks really nice. It's got a very wide open cockpit, good for exploration and observing the scenery. It's got a shield, but no weaponry because we're going to the stars to bring science and stuff <laughs> not to do war. And, and that's, that's about it, really. <laughs> I, I really enjoy its shape. It's a little bit unwieldy, especially when trying to yaw. It does, it has some funky interactions and does some, some weird stuff. But as long as you're rolling and pitching, it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, it has a very distinct reverse swept um, wing configuration that was inspired by a video from this channel this <laughs> adorable kid who apparently <laughs> learned to make spaceships from me which i'm incredibly honored of and yeah it, one of the ships that was showcased was this one a reverse swept wing build not very similar to mine but that's where the idea came from really of, of making this craft. I do encourage, if you're interested, go check that channel out. It is worth your time, I believe. But yeah, this is the sailfish. The last creation for today is another simulation or animatronic. Would you call it an animatronic? I guess you might. This is the Kestrel. It is a bird. What's interesting about this bird? Well, it has a landing animation, and then I, I turn the hover pad on, I can angle it up, and we can take off, and I can turn on its wing flapping animation. 
which sometimes is a little bit wonky because Trailmakers really doesn't like <laughs> keeping its hinge strength like consistent between repairs and it really annoys me sometimes but we deal with it the kestrel is just a bird i was going for the most organic possible feel to it and other than you know the two blasters that are in the nose because everything has to have guns it can just hover here while looking down and watch over people it's really really just nice <laughs> i love making animations in this game like walking animations or flying animations things that look organic i really like they just bring a whole different level of intrigue to my experience and there's so many challenges to trying to make something look like it's alive and behave like you want it to i just really like it I'm not going to attempt to land this because I know I will crash it. So I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> it may fly free. And there you go. This has been the fifth showcase of the products of Regal Dynamics. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the future.